Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela. In today's video, we're going to be embroidering some Etsy orders, but we're going to be making a lot of Valentine's Day designs because... I'm skipping New Year's. Valentine's Day is February 14th and the post office is so delayed, so Valentine's Day it is. So we're gonna make a bunch of Valentine's Day things. Um, a lot of things in my Etsy shop that I have that are already Valentine's Day, they've been getting so many favorites over the last week. So I know shoppers are getting ready to purchase Valentine's Day items. So it's time to make them. But first I have two Etsy orders I have to finish. These are the two Etsy orders. So a Lego and a mermaid. So I'm gonna design these set them up on the machines and then after those are done we're gonna start figuring out what valentine's day shirts we're gonna make the fabrics and such i need a 40 and an eight so let's go get them mm, mm, yeah mm. Go get them. be quiet oh knocked over the pile here the girls eight and the 40 is last row 40 also guys, I did put the Etsy success course on sale for Christmas, the Christmas sale. So go and get it now with the $74.99 and you will not... Over 50% off like Keenan <laughs> says over there. Oh my God. $74.99. Over 50% off. <laughs> to turn this machine on it's been like a week since i turned these machines on this one and this one which one has the colors i need one two three i just need to i'm gonna use those for the valentine's day stuff i need two oil my machines Pull it right here the bottom back in And then I gotta upload the design. So I get the question a lot how to put the stops in on this machine. It's probably one of my most asked questions. So I'm gonna upload it from the flash drive. It is five Liam. I probably already passed it normally. Mm -mm. Here it is. Liam set. And I move it all the way up. I don't do traces anymore because I know moving it all the way up it fits in the hoop with the specifications I made on my and brilliant software so if you're new make sure you do a trace first click edit end here's where the stops are and this is the stop button so if I put it right here that means I want it to stop before it starts stitching this blue but I don't want it there because this is just the name so I want to go to where I have applique parts so this is going to stitch out the five right away and here is the tack down stitch so I wanted to stop before it does that and I also wanted to stop before it does the final sign stitch that way I have time to cut it and then I'm going to keep putting stops in until I get to the final satin stitch the or I believe it'll be orange first I think so I'm just gonna keep putting stops and this is all fabric pieces I have to cut Now you see how like it's a lot thicker. That's the first satin outline and that means it's done. Cause from there on it just does stitching. So that is it. And then you double check your colors. Blue is on one, yellow is on two, green, orange. It's the same exact shirt I made last time on here. So because it's just it's stitching the name first, I just go ahead and start it. Then I'm gonna go pick out fabrics, but I gotta hoop the other shirt first.
threaded all the needles. I changed these three colors because I needed them. So, we find this design. I forgot the name. Reagan. This one, and this stops in. So that's what the colors look like. So obviously these are the three colors I changed, the first three needles. So then I have to set the colors because they're in the wrong order. So to change the colors, I'm going to click here. And fuchsia is on the third needle. So I'm going to click fuchsia and beige and I'm going to switch them out. Okay, now it's on the third needle. Beige is on needle two. So I'm going to switch these two out. And then that is the brown. So it is all correct. Black. Cool, cool. It is correct. And again, we're just going to go ahead and start it. And then keep it moving. This name is almost done, so we can get the fabric for it. Opening a new bolt of heat and bond light. You use this on all your fabrics that you're appliquing with. Um, you don't use this on heat transfer vinyl. You do not use this on embroidery vinyl. Um, I use it on all my other fabrics. So I heat it on my heat press 300 degrees for like three seconds.
we're in Tedford Heights, so the Lego shirt is on its final. I don't cut any more pieces. The mermaid I still have to cut, like the mermaid tail, the bow, and the seashell. That's it. So I still have to do those three pieces. But I do want to start on some um, the Valentine's Day designs. So I want to use the pink shirt, um, the AJ Blanks pink shirt. If you do not know, I sell embroidery blanks. You saw me just use some. Um, have them in pink as well. So I want to make a pink shirt because not a lot of uh, Etsy shops sell pink items. So I think that will stand out um, instead of just doing white. Of course, I will still do white, but just another option. So I want to do a design on this shirt. Um, and then boys, uh, I saw a design I like and I needed a gray shirt for that. So I'm gonna make it in Roman's size. I usually make my samples just for the kids because I have a boy and a girl luckily. So I just make it for them. Um, so I need to find all the Valentine's Day fabrics that I have, like Valentine's colors that I would like to use. And then I can figure out, you know, how to color match. To me, that's the hardest part is figuring out what fabrics to use. It's so difficult, but um, I always get worried to turn out real ugly. <laughs> that would suck but it's part of the process so I know I want to use this um, polka dot this is Riley Blake it's on I have it on my website as well um, on kidscustomdesigns.com this one I definitely want to use this one that's another option as well what else do I have here the hot pink plaid or not plaid gingham would work I also have a red gingham somewhere um, oh, definitely I'm going to use this for the boy shirt, the texture red. What else do I have? I have that. This is so, I have, I have a good amount of options. It's a good amount of options. I remember always going to the Joann's every time I wanted to make something, and then I ended up buying so much stuff, and wait, not that I wasted time going, but like, I went there and spent a lot of money, um, while my creative juices were flowing, and then I get home and it's like nothing. I, I, I haven't made anything. It happens quite often, so... The mermaid is ready for something else, so let me do that, and then I'm going to work on some designs. Okay, so I went to go feed Roman, so when I came back, this one is done. And this one needs the bow. Her, oh, 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 her bow, her legs, her tail, and the seashell. So let me find the fabric for a bow. i got to cut this one. And the heat transfer, the glitter heat transfer I'm going to use is Beach Blue. It's on KissCustomDesigns.com and that's rip away so I don't have to cut anything else. I just rip it away. But this one I do have to cut because this is not heat transfer vinyl. Guys, I am having the hardest time finding like designs for Valentine's Day because I want quick stitch designs. Um, I guess I'm a little lazy but... I want something that's quick to make, um, so it's limiting my options. I don't want something that's gonna take like an hour to make. Um, because the quicker, the more I can make, and the faster I can make up, and the more money I can make. So, I do need to turn these machines on. Melco number one. Melco number two. If you are interested in purchasing a Melco EMC 6 and X, please contact Todd. His information is in the description. Always contact him first, that way you get to work directly with him because a lot of people love Todd. Um, and mention Angela from YouTube, his information is right here and in the description of this video. Okay, so these are the designs I came up with. I'm not sure on the colors yet for this, but this is gonna be the pink shirt. And then this is going to be the gray shirt. Subscribe for more embroidery related content. How bizarre.
hard part. Cause I'm used to cutting close, but to these you shouldn't cut close. Try your best, sweetheart. I was not talking to you. <laughs> I was talking to them. You can do this. Fire. Q fire emoji. Fire. F I Y A H. What? Fire. <laughs> what school did you go to? <laughs> Boosh. It's done. And look, I found a needle right here. I love it. Just like I love you. You're sick. <laughs> <laughs> it for today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video guys this is so cute isn't it show them this again show it to them again they saw it, it like again. 10 seconds ago one more time r c g real corny gangster did a good job <laughs> i made that up all right guys bye